<clears throat> Welcome back. We're um, in Algebra 2, the first pace of Algebra 2, which is 1121. And I want to look at page, uh, you know, I said 8 and 9. 8, 9 is actually a checkup, all right? So let's talk about page 8, and then uh, you can score everything and hopefully be ready to do the checkup on page 9. Um, so here on page <coughs> 8, they show some symbols that might be new to you. Whoops, paste just fell on the floor. That's okay. We'll let, leave it there. We talked about how sets, we put the braces on the end, a letter represents the, the set, and uh, we can have any number of numbers. We can even have just one number, okay? And then um, this is called a Venn diagram. And we use a Venn diagram to show how maybe two sets overlap. In other words, they share some numbers in between them. And uh, then there might be some numbers that um, are not in either of these sets, and that would be inside the box, but outside the value of those two sets. I'm gonna show you how it works. They, a lot of them they have labeled and already drawn for you, but let me show you how we would do this. I'm gonna call this set A. We'll call this set B. And then out here is always U. U is like the universal set or the union of everything. So set one, five, and three. So I did one, three, and five. So inside this circle, if you just focus on this circle, we have one, three, and five. You see that? Set B includes the numbers two, three, and four. So two, three, and four. Those three numbers are inside circle B. And now we can see that they both have three in common. So we call that the intersection of those two sets. So there's a symbol that means intersection of two sets. So A intersected with B means it is just the number three. That's the set three. All right, it's the only thing in the intersection. Union means we put A together. Whoops, not really a U, it's an upside down, yeah. So if I put them all together, I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, are you with me? So the intersection is where they overlap. The union is everything that's in just these two sets. Now notice in this, the universal set, we also have zero, one, two, three, four, five, and we have the number six. We have one, or zero and six that are part of set U, but are not in set A or B, all right? So there's another symbol then, <clears throat> And that is called prime. This looks like a little apostrophe. And we can put that next to one set, like B prime means everything in this universal set that's not in B. So let's see, we would have zero, one, um, and then two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so two, three, and four are not included, but zero and one and five and six are in B prime. Now to make it even more interesting, <clears throat> they might do something like this. A union with B, whoops, let me get the A, B in there, and then the prime of that combination. So now we're looking at this whole thing, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and saying if I take all of those out of set U, what's left? And so you can see that it's just zero and six. Okay? So again, as I mentioned in, uh, in the other video, there's just a lot of logic things. There's going to be a lot of terminology, a lot of new symbols. It's a totally different kind of math than you've been doing in 7th grade, 8th grade, Algebra 1. There's not a lot of solving for numbers yet. We'll do that. But right now, it's applying some, applying some math rules and then trying to figure out what matches that condition. So it's a totally different kind of math. Don't Sometimes it feels intimidating and say, wow, I've never done this before. It can almost be overload for your brain to uh, see all of this new stuff. 
and they don't give you a lot of practice in the pace, okay? Um, so I chose a problem here that you don't have for homework. I want you to study this example and the ones in the paste. Don't just zip over them and try to do it without studying it. Look at all of them, highlight things, and then uh, do those few problems on page eight. Score everything, make sure you understand it. This, this stuff in particular, you need to understand, okay? Don't just look at the score key and say, oh, I got that one wrong, that one should have been empty set. Let me just write empty set. Make sure you understand why it's empty set. Okay, and I uh, hope we get 100 under checkup, and then we'll come back and talk about the next section.